Hey, so today we're going to be uh, discussing on how to build a, on how to get started with GPT-4 Zero. So first here, we're going to say, uh, we're going to create a Python file called okay, model.py. Then here, what's going to happen is you're going to need to uh, type in pip and sell swarms into your terminal. And then once, once you have that, you could do something like this. Uh, you, you import uh, from swarms and uh, import OpenAI chats, and then you get your API key like this, um, and then you go like that, and then you change the model name to GPT-4. Oh, let me see if I'm doing that correctly. Uh, let me see, let's see. Yeah. So you put your key in. Then you put the name uh, GPT-40 or mini. And you also put in the temperature. Max tokens is uh, 4,000. And then we can try this out now. So we can say, uh, what is, um, uh, what are net, let's ask it, what's the best state? to incorporate a non-profit. And then we print the response. And let's just delete that and get our results. We'll run that. And um, let's see. There you go. Best way to incorporate a nonprofit depend on various factors. Delaware, you know, now for its business friendly laws. The word is a popular choice for many types of organizations, including nonprofits. California, um, California has a large population and many resources for nonprofits. Uh, but it does have more regulation, more fees, taxes. Uh, Florida, Washington State, a good, uh, strong nonprofit community. Um, yeah, so now if you want to build an agent with this, um, with um, GPT-4 Mini, this is what you can do. So don't create an agent here. Don't give it a name. So it's called financial agent or non-profit agent. Let's call it like that. Yeah. Non-profit incorporation <laughs> agent. And then we're going to give it the model. And the system prompt is going to be like this. There you go. And uh, you can also give it some more settings like uh, like this. You can give it, um, no, max loops it is. Like you set that to auto. Now that is going to make sure that it just essentially runs in a loop. Um, you put interactive equals true. That will make it uh, interactive back and forth. Uh, streaming equals true and um, yeah let's try it out so we're just gonna run that and uh, now it's gonna run the task first and then it's gonna go back and forth. Um, so you say, um, what's the legal, uh, or what are the taxes associated with a nonprofit in Delaware? If I incorporate there. Nonprofit organizations enjoy several tax benefits. Federal taxes a nonprofits must apply to for 501c, um, which means they're exempt from federal income tax. State income tax, Delaware does not 
does not impose a corporate income tax on nonprofit organizations that are recognized tax exempt by the IRS. However, if the nonprofit engages unrelated uh, business activities, it may be subject to income tax laws. Franchise tax. Nonprofits in Delaware are required to pay an annual franchise tax. The amount is based on the number of authorized shares or the assumed per value of the corporation. For nonprofits, the minimum um, franchise tax is typically $25. And it'll keep going and going and going. So, yeah, that's the um, that's Jubilee 400 Mini. That's how to get started with Jubilee 4 Mini. Uh, don't forget to get your keys, your open eye keys, um, and put them in your EMV. So, uh, Again, first step, create a Python. Uh, first step, download Swarms and also um, python env Then get your uh, API keys. So you can get your API keys by going to, um, let's see. Let's see where we get our keys. Yeah, so this is the link, platform.openai.com slash keys. Get yourself a key. Um, create a, um, put it in the, uh, uh, open, uh, put your key in the dot EMV and then, uh, this will, this will fetch it. And yeah, now you have a fully autonomous agent and you got up and running with GPT-40 mini and you created a specialized agent and 25 lines of code. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, please check out the Swarms framework. Give it us a star, comment, um, you know, fork, and contribute. Uh, join our community if you wish. Uh, we have now more than 8,000 members in our community. So uh, definitely join and, and uh, head over there if you need support or, you know, just want to converse with some agent engineers. Appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Have a good one.